is watching this video. My name is Sir Olen Jolai Mokota Yelo Singo. I would like to welcome you into this fantastic session. I'm a Tanzanian and I'm from the United Republic of Tanzania, the beautiful, fantastic, and a unique country and peaceful country in Eastern of Africa. So I would like just to greet you wherever you are and I would like to welcome you into our official YouTube channel that's called the Tanzania Online A Level Seki School. All in July M in square bracket. So Seki, this is the abbreviations of the word secondary, right? So actually, this is a online advanced level secondary school. So listen careful. It is Tanzania, so we use the syllabus of United Republic of Tanzania online. So it's not a physical school; it is online. It is that we, we teach students uh, via the internet. A is standing for advanced level, and Sek stands for secondary schools. So in this official YouTube channel that we are solving a critical and a unique and exceptional problem that existing among the advanced students or advanced level students. So I have I've pursued advanced level okay and then so I know many problems that have been facing myself and even my colleagues that have been facing similar problems or in different circumstances. And even those problems are still common. So even the students of our present generations and even the future generations, possibly they might encounter them because you find that, that just the stuff for the science becoming changing, means changing rapidly. It means from the simplest basic physics, for example, to the advanced physics, where you find that there are a lot of complex issues that the students may encounter them along the way. So we, there, we have experienced, I have experienced many problems, such as just I failed to understand some of the concept, maybe I spent much time. I was even able, I was not able to read all the refer, reference materials because you find that the volumes of one physics book, so it's just like this one. So you find that that's the one physics book and it may contains only three topics, mechanics, heat and wave for the advanced level. So uh, we know they are facing many problems, uh, maybe for example that you find, first of all, the common problems is to understand what they have to learn within the limited times of 18 months. So a little bit challenge, okay, yes, you can manage, but it, there's a lot of troubles. So in this channel, we are solving that problem by taking those complex concepts in advanced physics, in advanced chemistry, in advanced mathematics, and also in basic applied mathematics, we break them into the small slices and we simplify them as well as we can so that the students can take them easily and even just a bit quickly and think differently on how to use the material on solving real life problems rather than spending much time on understanding because we have already solved the, that problem for them. But again, in these YouTube channels, also it teaches students how to think differently because now you are in advanced level. You have to think how you can use the knowledge you've been acquiring from the primary educations to secondary to all of educations, how you can, how you can use that uh, knowledge to solve real life problems. Really, it happens that according to our educational systems, it's not possible for the A-level students after graduations to be employed in a particular place or maybe to be uh, trusted to do a particular activity. But uh, that is about the system. You yourself, you can think differently and even we can start using and employing this, the contents that I've been learning for years from the primary to ordinary secondary schools to the A-level to solve your own real life problems and even your community real life like I did. I will share to you at the test months that how I've been used it in the quality in those three level primary, secondary or ordinary secondary schools and advanced secondary school. So that's the main vision or the visions of this YouTube channel. So you have three departments, you have departments we call advanced chemistry, advanced physics and advanced mathematics. <coughs> So today we are in the departments of advanced chemistry. The subject is advanced chemistry. And then the main topic there is called general chemistry. That's the first topic for the form five. And then the topic is atomic structure. So this material again is according to the syllabus or curriculum of the United Republic of Tanzania. So he say that these materials are dedicated specifically to the pre Preform five students, right? Preform five students, also form five students, and even and the 
Form 6 students. So these are the targeted classes, Form 5, Form 5, and Form 6 students. So that's, those are the, uh, that's the contest that we are going to teach. And the topic, because the, topic, the main topic of general chemistry, there are two topics, the atomic structure and the chemical bonding. So we are in atomic structure. And I would like just to do the quick review. I have already taught session one, session two, session three. Today we are going to for the session four, which is titled as hydrogen spectrum, right? And then another thing is, I would like just to share with you a couple of the things before we start the session. Number one, uh, we will be uploading. You know, advanced in chemistry is very intensive. Advanced physics is very intensive. Advanced mathematics is very intensive. At least the basic applied mathematics is not even uh, a higher in volume missing content. So we are going for these three subjects so in this YouTube channel we are going to upload hundreds of the videos on our YouTube channel. So for you to get official notification from the YouTube community you have to make sure that you subscribe onto this YouTube channel so that the YouTube community will give you notifications once we apply any new video. Again remember that we are recording the live class, a very serious class and in this very serious class, uh, we'll be taking uh, the, the contents we are teaching by using the high definition uh, multimedia equipment so that we make sure you get everything that just like in the physical normal class, right? So uh, that's the first thing. The second thing also we insist we, we our main desire, our, our strong desire to see that millions of the students in every country get help on these materials that you are offering to them during the year learning process, right? So make sure that you share the contents with your colleagues, with your classmates, with your elder brothers, with your young brothers. So share with them because, you know, this is the secret of science and, the, uh, and engineering, right? <clears throat> so that's the second thing. The third thing, also in every video, I, ins I insist you to read the description below every video because you'll find the father explanations on concern about the video and even also you find the further details and even the links uh, for you to access our other official YouTube channel because we have six currently have six official YouTube channel so we still have other files that maybe you might not be familiar and you don't have the links and then they are beneficial just to, to incubate the students from the uh, all level means from the form one to the uh, undergraduate level to the bachelor level that's our intention so that's the second third thing that you have to and in that descriptions also in case you want to join me and you feel from your heart that you want to offer god the sense giving offering so all this are uh, tanzania so tanzania online uh, uh, advanced level secondary schools then you'll find that there is a two ways that you can send your your seed or your sense giving offer or your offer right from your heart like any amounts that will be accepted will be received in order to uh, in order to afford the running cost for these programs because there's a high running cost. I don't even, as I'm not there, God didn't allow me to mention or present to you, but know that there's a high running cost for this project. It is a huge project, it takes much time, so there's a need of food, the running cost, or there's a need of money in order to facilitate it. So it, may, it has to reach its end. So there you find also one of the methods. You can do the mobile transactions by using this telephone number. This is sense giving offering, so you can send by 07, uh, 07 0759 and the confirmation name is already July. If you want to do the bank transaction, in the description below, you'll get even the account number and account name. So your seed or your offering will be received and will be directed to the different angles to cover all means that in just in different angles of running cost uh, of this program. Okay? And then uh, the fourth thing which I insist you that to make sure that you can you can average it means you can weigh these uh, videos and then you can uh, you can say either you like or you don't like. Again another thing uh, which will be the last one, our classes are incomplete without giving students uh, a chance uh, or an opportunity to ask questions. So we'll be teaching, or well, we don't have any students in this class, but we have the students online. Please use the comment section below each video to ask your questions. I'll try my level best to go through and answer, and even some other students, they can answer your questions. So make sure that you, you do that for your own understanding, because our intention, our main objective here, to let every student to understand and love 
advanced in chemistry, advanced physics, advanced mathematics, and even basic applied mathematics. So we'll be transforming you day after day, lecture after lecture, video after video, session after video, as after session, until you return or you restore your original love for science and the mathematics, right? So make sure that also you ask him questions and your real questions have been asked by other students and even yourself you can answer some of the questions. And lastly, this is the warning that I would like just to give at the beginning is that remember Colin July does not know everything. I don't know everything about advanced chemistry or general chemistry. I just know a little portions of it. But I'm ready to share or to teach what I know. I'm still learning about it, uh, general chemistry or advanced chemistry because I like it. Okay, so if that's the case, this is the serious program. Take all the required. Make sure that you have your certificate calculator like this one. If you don't, to, don't have one, you can also go to the description there. I used to sell it online and I can ship it in across the country. So make sure that you have your, uh, your, 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 your certificate calculator and also make sure you have your syllabus, right? Your syllabus book that this is very important according to your country. So remember, this material might be used in America in Africa, in any continents, okay, in Africa, in Asia, in, in Europe, you see, and then even North America, South America, so this, uh, in, uh, in Eastern Africa, in Northern Africa, in Central Africa, advanced chemistry is likely, it's, it's, it's likely, when we learn about atomic structure, this is the common subject in the world, but we should, should have at least a focus, because the syllabus or the curriculum is just minimizing some of the issues, have a particular focus. So that's why we refer the syllabus of the Republic of Taman as a reference, but material might be used in as well. Good. So if you are ready right now, let us go to the business. So the first part of this lecture is a quick review of what? Of session or lecture three. Lecture one, lecture two, lecture three. The main focus of lecture one and lecture two and lecture three, for example, in lecture three, it means that I taught you how you can solve problems, right? Solving or problem solving. So problem solving, problem solving, okay? Problem solving or not? On how I can compute the, atom, the average atomic mass, so relative atomic mass of an atom, right? And then uh, simply also I taught you about uh, spectrum, right? So I call it spectrum, right? Mass spectrometer or I call it mass spectrum. So I talked about spectrum, and then I talked about mass spectrum, right? And this mass spectrum, if you do remember, we say that this is the graphical representation of what here we have relative abundance, right? As for abundance as in percentage, right? And here we used to have what atomic mass, right? So here we have what atomic mass. So atomic mass. So because you have atomic mass, so here we have spikes representing what the isotopes of 40 of an atom. Suppose that these are the spikes. So you find that these are the values, and here there's a corresponding value, and here there's a corresponding value. And then if you do remember that we say that relative atomic mass, this is given as what? Summation, right, of what? Of the product. Summation of the product between what? So you say summation of the product between the relative atomic mass uh, yes, it means that between the relative abundance, right, and so the, uh, the atomic mass of the particular isotopes. So atomic mass of particular of the isotopes. And then so you divide by what in summation so 40 of relative abundance, which if it is in percentage, it is 100, right? So in case that you didn't go through this lecture today, it is still in this YouTube channel, so you can take them and I, I insist you, Make sure that you go through these uh, contents several times as you can so that you may grasp the concept and you may understand and even eliminate the troubles that you might come along. So I would like just to give you a short time for you to think, so to remember what I told you. So when I'll be taking on with heavy spectrum, you know what is going on. So, well, so I think that now you have achieved it or you have remembered yourself 
what has been going on. So let us go to the today's session, which is lecture four, or session four, which is hydrogen spectrum. Say hydrogen spectrum. This is a very interesting subject in atomic structure, and we find this concept of hydrogen spectrum in advanced level. So in during, remember, during the form two, we learned about the atomic structure, but we just discussed about the atomic theory, right? And basically, that was atomic theories and its amendments, and just a few things about the isotopes and the, you know, uh, iso isobars and so forth. Just the, we, we covered a little part of general chemistry. But the concept of hydrogen spectrum is new. So you have to make sure that you concentrate because I want to simplify this concept. And you have, and I want to tell you that you will never forget it for the rest of your life because I will simplify and even I will insist you to go through and make it to enjoy rather than to hurt, right? So in this concept of hydrogen spectrum, before we go into the hydrogen, uh, the concept of hydrogen spectrums, uh, let us start with, I would like just to start with definition of terminologies. So in this concept, in order for us to understand, we need to know definitions of these terminologies, terminologies supporting of hydrogen spectrums, or the most used in hydrogen spectrum, right? So hydrogen spectrum. This terminology, we used to find it when we be learning web, for advanced physics, but it's better also to understand them since we're with in, in perspective of 40, in, perspe in perspective of chemistry. The first terminology is, we call it, or it's called the electro, electro, electromagnetic spectrum, right? So it's electromagnetic spectrum, spectrum of light. So say electromagnetic, electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum. Say electromagnetic spectrum, right? Electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum. So the fundamental question that we find there is define, define the term, right? Define the term electromagnetic. Electromagnetic spectrum, right? Pause the video and then remember what you have covered in, during your form for education. What is electromagnetic spectrum? Right? There are, very, there are different definitions in different perspectives. But just a form one of them that I want to share to you. Electromagnetic spectrum, say electromagnetic spectrum, is the arrangement. So this is the arrangement. This is arrangement of all types, of all types, arrangement of all types of radiation, all types of radiation, right? All types of radiation in order, in order of 40, in order, in order of increasing in order of increasing wavelengths or in order of decreasing of decreasing in order of decreasing frequency. So this is G frequency. So this is definition of 40 electromagnetic spectrum. We have electromagnetic spectrums of the light. Do you remember it? How many bands are there? We have seven bands, right? The longer, the longer, uh, it means that the bands with the longer wavelengths is called your team, radio wave, used in your team in telecommunications or in communication system. The next one is called your microwave, also used in telecommunication or in communication system. The next one is called your infrared or IF, it means I IR, it means we call it IR, infrared radiations. Then the next one is what? Ultraviolet light. Then the next, after ultraviolet light, is what? The fifth one, because the, the ultraviolet light is, is the fourth one. The fusion is what? Is it gamma? What the fusion? Visible spectrum, right? And then after visible spectrums, the visible spectrums, yes, yes, a visible, uh, visible spectrums and ultraviolet UV light. I, I think that the, I don't exactly remember, but I think that I, I have it here, if I'm not mistaken. But this is just in terms of what of color, okay? So unfortunately that I don't have here, but you still remember the arrangement I just mentioned. So you have radio wave, you have microwave in order, and also you have infrared. So the next one is visible, yes, visible spectrum, right? That's the first one. Then the fifth one 
uh, is what? So the fifth one is uh, what? Ultraviolet light. And the sixth one is what? X-ray. Then the last one is what? Gamma rays. So we say that the electromagnetic spectrum, this is the arrangement of what? Of all types. All types of what? Of radiation. In order of either increasing the wavelengths or in order of what? Decreasing what? The wavelengths. Let me give you an example. Example, electromagnetic spectrum. Example, electromagnetic spectrum, right? Electromagnetic spectrum of 40 or four white light or of light. So if you arrange them in order of increasing wavelengths, right? So the first one, I told you that, of decreasing wavelengths or decreasing frequency. Okay, radio wave, right? Radio wave. And then the next one, we call it your microwave. Microwave. Then the next one, we call it your infrared. So infrared, we just say IR in abbreviation. Then the next one is what? Visible light. Say visible light. The next is what? UV, ultraviolet light. Then you have what? X-ray. Right? Then you have what? Gamma rays. Okay, we have gamma rays. So between the gamma rays, I think that you start gamma rays and then we have X-rays at the last, if I'm not mistaken. But you have to check. And then say what? X-rays. So these radiations it means that if we move from radio wave to the X-ray, here we are decreasing what? We say we are increasing frequency. We are increasing what? Frequency. Because this is a means that this, uh, the X-rays has high frequency more than radio wave. But if we move from X-ray towards the radio wave, here we are increasing what? We are increasing wavelengths. We are not this, we are not opposing what has been said in the in the, audit, in the definition. It means that the definition says that uh, this electron we are we can arrange all types of radiation, right? All types of radiation. Uh, it means that for example from X-ray to the radio wave. When we are increasing the wavelengths, or well, at the same time we are decreasing what frequency. So here we are increasing the frequency, but we are decreasing what we are decreasing the wavelengths, right? Here we are increasing the wavelengths, but we are decreasing what we are decreasing the frequency if you move from point from X-ray to the radio wave. <coughs> we can also define electromagnetic spectrums in terms of increasing frequency or decreasing wavelengths of the spectrum. So that the first technology because we'll be discussing about the, the hydrogen spectrums is well influenced by the, uh, the light, right? The amounts of the light are being absorbed by an atom. That the first technology. Okay? If you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. The second technology, this is common, you met it during your, uh, uh, during your phone for also, okay? When you'll be learning about the wave. So we have a term we call the wavelengths. So the term wavelengths is not new. You learned the topic you call the wavelengths during your all of education, okay? During your all of education, you learn the term or the terminology called the wavelengths. But let us remind ourselves because you're learning in chemistry. They are learned in physics, so you might be surprised that if you find the cause of wavelengths in what in chemistry. So we want to define. So we have wavelengths. So the fundamental question we are chemists, we want to understand what is wavelengths. So because you know it, you learnt it and possibly wavelengths, right? Wavelengths. Okay, what is wavelengths? So you know you met it, so you can pause the video and then you can try your let you are you yourself to write a definition, then you continue to watch the video to make corrections. That's the best way that you can learn through these materials. So what is wavelength? So we say wavelength, this the distance between two successful points of the wave. So is the distance. So wavelength is a distance between between two successive, say successive. It means that I'm just saying. Successful points, successful points, successful points to two successful points uh, of the wave. 
as the wave. Example, uh, the wavelengths, the distance between two successful crests. So example, example, okay, example, wavelengths is the distance between what? So wavelengths is the distance between what? Two successful two successful wavelengths. No, two successful crest. Two successful crest. But also can have uh, another diff and another another example we said of wavelengths. We can say that also wavelengths wavelengths is the distance <coughs> between two so between two successful two successful trough two successful trough so this is crusty and that is trough so just to remind you what you've been learning or to prove what you are thinking in your mind suppose that this is a wave and then suppose that this is time so you have your sinusoidal signal like this so this is we call it a crest and this we call it a trough trough right so the the, the half cycle below the uh, the time line we call it what we call it uh, we call it trough and then the one there at the top we call it what we call it crest so because we have a number of uh, number of these technologies so let me sketch just have a sketch of the wave right like this suppose that this is distance so this is distance and then suppose that this is amplitude and here also you have so you have amplitude so even on this side that we still have amplitude so this is dotted line like this one this is time i'm trying to sketch this is origin so you find that it is sinusoidal so it's a sinusoidal signal, right? And then here I can prolong to the negative side. So I say that all of this, all of this, and even this guy, this we call them in physics or in chemistry, crest. So these are the three crests, one, two, three, right? And then this one, and this one and this one and even this one we call them sort of trough trough so we say that the distance between two successful crests for instance that the distance between the amplitude i'll define about the amplitude here this is point a means its distance until the amplitude of the second of the next thing successful crest this is point b so the distance between those these two points the distance between the amplitude of the first crest and the distance between the amplitude of the second crest this is what we define as what is wavelength so wavelength is the distance between the amplitude or the means that the maximum points of the two crest similarly also you can define it that maybe wavelength is just a, a distance covered by the complete wave so you can define that this is half half cycle and this is the half cycle. So simply, even here you can define as what wavelengths. But because of the inch of cancellation, that's why that we don't prefer these demonstrations. We refer more about this demonstration. If you want to discuss it from the perspective of 40 of trough, means we can find the wavelengths as a distance between uh, the maximum displacement like this one. So here we say that the distance between these two points, we call it in chemistry or in physics as what? Wavelengths. So I think that uh, 
I added something valuable in our, ma in our mind about wavelengths. Possibly I've been claiming only the definition that you don't know how stuff are, are well presented. Then the next terminology we call T uh, amplitude before we go for the frequency. Amplitude. Say amplitude. So the term amplitude is not new, right? So you just have the fundamental question here. What is amplitude? What is amplitude? So you can pause the video and then try to answer on the piece of paper. Then continue the video to see whether you are right or you are not right. Trying is a best way of learning science and the learning mathematics. Trying doing it to yourself, trying to explain to yourself, so you are doing the practice before you go for the exam. Right? So with this platform, you can pause the video, it means you can stop the video, and then you try the question, then do the correction yourself because possibly the solution or the problem will be solved. So the amplitude, we define that amplitude is the maximum. So amplitude is the maximum. Amplitude is the maximum. So you say amplitude is the maximum. <coughs> the maximum displacement of the median particle is the maximum displacement. The maximum displacement of the median particle. The median particles from the year from the, the year resting in position. Median particles from the ear resting, the ear resting in position, mean position. So this is the maximum displacement, right? Maximum displacement of the median particle from the ear resting mean position. So what, how do you show the amplitude? The amplitude is just like, for example, this is point C, this is the maximum displacement, this is point D, this is amplitude, this one point E, this is amplitude, A, B, C, D, E. And then similarly here, we have some <coughs> amplitude. So even this distance, we call it amplitude. maximum displacement of the median particles, excuse me, from the rest mean position. So this is the rest mean position. So it's the distance from here to the maximum. Right? So the maximum displacement of the uh, median particles from the rest mean what position. So it's the maximum distance from what the mean position. And that's the maximum distance reached by what by the wave. Sometimes that's how we define. So its symbol is what? So the symbol for the wavelength is that one, and then the symbol for the amplitude is F. So the symbol for the wavelength is lambda, and the symbol for what? So just the, not this one. Let me remind you, because possibly the symbol of 40 of wavelengths, possibly you didn't learn physics during your A level, during your O level studies. The symbol of wavelength is what is lambda. 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 Lambda means that is the symbol. And the S unit of wavelengths, okay, so the S unit of wavelengths is called what? So I think that, so the S unit of wavelengths. So I say that the S unit of wavelengths is what? Wavelengths is meter. Is meter. But in most cases for the light, for, for the wavelengths of the light, this is expressed in, is expressed in what? Is expressed in, in either nanometer, nanometer, 
which is Nm, or it can be expressed in, in angistrom, angistrom, right? Angistrom. So this we call the angistrom. Angistrom. And the symbol for the angistrom is this one. You have to be familiar because we're going to use these two units which you are not familiar when you are being the all level questions you learn about are possibly that kilometer, hectometer, narcometer, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. So we are adding these new terms because you are using these units not in, in, in the concepts of hydrogen spectra. So for instance, one meter, right? One meter, you know that is equal to 100 centimeters. These conversions, you know it. So then I'd like to introduce to you the new conversion. One meter is equal to one exponent negative nine nanometer. Positive nine nanometer. So it means that if you have one nanometer, this is equal to one exponent negative nine meter. Similarly, if you have one meter, this is equal to one exponent ten. So one exponent ten what angestrom? Is this the symbol for the angestrom? For that case, it means that one angestrom, one angestrom is equal to one exponent negative 10 meter. So this nanometer and angestroms are the unity used to notate, or it means that used to, uh, to support the magnitude of the small wavelengths of the signal, or small wavelengths. So there's a unity, so say it's a unity of what? Of amplitude for this case is what? In most cases, the amplitude is measured in meter. We don't have amplitude in nanometer, neither, or, or uh, neither. We don't have the amplitude also in what? In angestro. All right. If you have any question concerning about wavelengths, concerning about the electromagnetic spectrum, concerning about the uh, the concept that I've told you now, the amplitude, please ask in the comment section. Do you enjoy the terminologies of hydrogen spectrum? I believe that you do. Good. We got the first terminology. The first terminology is not a new one if you, you, you took physics you, during your A-level studies, uh, during your O-level studies, your ordinary level secondary studies. So this term is called the frequency. Frequency. So I want to just, uh, just to protect the terms that you are familiar because the first terminology is called wave number, which might be a new term for you. Or just know the definition. Say frequency. What is frequency? Okay, frequency, yes, you know, we find, we learn a lot of cases in, of frequencies in mechanics, right? In mechanical systems, in light system, right? Telecommunication system also because we have radio waves there. So the fundamental question is, what is frequency? What somebody asking, what is frequency? While yourself, you have been prepared to solve problems about the total frequency of the spectrum. So what is frequency? So he said that the frequency frequency say that is a number. So frequency say that is the number of complete cycles is the number of complete cycles per second. Is the number of complete cycles per second. That's the definition of sort of frequency. We say that frequency is the number of complete or complete oscillations per second. So remember that not this point. The cycle this cycle that I've written there is not equal to the cycle. These are the constant distance from the center to the circumference. While in cycles, we don't have the constant total distance from the center to the circumference. Let me, let me differentiate for you so that you may not the difference. So this is the cycle, kinds of spherical shape. While the cycle, so the distance from here to here is not equal to the distance from here to this point, from the center to this point of the circumference. While the cycle, it has a common odd, common distance from the center, we call it radius. So the distance from here to here 
is equal to the distance from here to here. And this we call tiradas. Now the difference between a cycle and cycle. So many harmonic systems, right? Or many oscillatory systems, oscillation system, they don't complete a, a cycle. They do complete a cycle. Or we call it oscillations. So in other words, we say that cycle, the word cycle, right? So the word cycle, so the word cycle, this is equivalent to oscillations. So in some of the books, we also use the word oscillation, right? So is the number of complete oscillations in one second. How many oscillations does that oscillatory system, for example, complete? Okay, how many oscillations does the light, if the light is a, uh, is a wave, it means that it's vibrating, for example, it's oscillating, then how many number of complete cycles that light may be from sodium or from maybe radio wave or from any source, how many number of complete oscillations when it's been moving, moving from one point to another point might be completed in one second. So the SA unity of frequency, so you use this in lowercase f for notation of frequency, is what? So the SA unity is hertz, namely at the hammer of hertz was discovered or discussed or did a lot of research on frequency. Or uh, the, the SA unity, it might be per second. So you have those two forms of forty of SA unity of frequency. So whenever you meet with the word frequency, now we should not be uh, surprised. Right? So that is so we say that one health is equal to what? Is equal to one per second. Again, remember that. Because you have light, we have lights that certainly some of them stay, we call them they are strong electromagnetic radiations. So one kilohertz, one kilohertz, so one kilohertz is equal to uh, one thousand, so one kilohertz is equal to one thousand hertz. Then one megahertz, so one megahertz is equal to 1 exponent 6 hertz. Then 1 gigahertz, for example, the speed of the computer, modern computers, this is 1 exponent 30, 9. So it's complete, means that a billion, a billion of 40, a billion of oscillations or complete cycles in 40 in a second. So that's why we call them high speed 40 computers. So well, so if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask it, to ask in the comment section, and then I'll tell you my level best to answer your question as well as I can. The next terminology before we go, uh, before I teach you how to say late, and then to do the computation, it will be at uh, the end of this first part of the session. Remember that this session four we have session four A. I'll break into the small slices. Session zero four A, zero four B, zero four C. Etc. 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 Okay. So, the the fifth knowledge, say the fifth knowledge, is the quality or is called the wave number or number of radiation. So wave number. So the wave number, for this case, is just like this. That's the wave number. So we have a fundamental question. What is wave number? what is wave number. So wave number, what is wave number, right? So I, I found that the many definitions that I found one of them, or it's called wave number, wave number, or that is the number of wave per unit length. So it's a wave number, you say that, is the number of wave unit lens. In one unit lens, how many number of, uh, number of waves are represented? Per unit 30, per unit is the number of wave per unit lens. Now the meaning of 40, wave number. Or, in other words, say so that wave number is a reciprocal. Say reciprocal. 
So F number is a reciprocal of what? So wave number is the reciprocal of wavelengths. So here, if you have the wavelengths, first for KGT, you get the terms called the wave number. All right, so in the case now, we have mathematical, or a mathematical formula of number, mathematical, mathematical formula of wave number. So you see that the wave number, this is a reciprocal of 40 wavelengths. Right? At the wave number. So it's a reciprocal 40, reciprocal of the wavelengths. Reciprocal of the wavelengths. So the SA unity of wave number, which is mu, not V, so this is kind of a special V. This one, the SA unity is per meter. Is already per meter. It's one over meter. Right? Good. So the next three concepts after covering about that, I would like to teach you about uh, how do these terminologies of five spectrums relate. So I want to teach you the relationship between these terminologies. And this part we call it the relationship between wavelengths, frequency, and speed of radiation. So we say that the next is our topic, we say relation, relationship between we learned five technologies, but not all the five technologies are.